Well, thank you so much for coming up here and having the boldness to share your testimony. Can you just begin with uh, what happened a few months back and then just your journey coming to Hungry Generation? I'm nervous, y'all. But I know the devil don't want you guys to hear what I'm about to say. That's right. Um, a few months ago, I lost everything. Um, I lost my home, and I was homeless. And um, I started losing friends, friends I had been friends with for years. We just fell apart. And then my son, he went to college. And I became very depressed. I started having anxiety. He's here now. That's my son there. Go, go Coots. <laughs> and I started having anxiety really bad. It took over my life. And at that point, I was like, all I have had left was my job, um, my boyfriend that had been in my life for eight years, and my daughter. And a few weeks after that, I lost my job, and my boyfriend left me. And my heart was broke. Like, I thought this was my husband, (laughs) y'all. And so I became so depressed. I got scared. And I was like, I need to go to church. And I remember um, Sol Mia had invited me a while back. And she sent me a message. And she said, if you ever want to come to church, just give me a call and I'll save you a seat. And I took her up on that offer. And I came to church. And when I got here... Man, the message that pastor gave was so powerful. I could not stay in my seat. I ran up to the front right here. I was the first one up here. And I was just like, please, somebody pray for me. And Glenn prayed for me. I had never met him in my life. And he told me, he said, you are going to be okay. And I believed him. I was like, this is a man of God. And he's telling me I'm going to be okay. And... When my boyfriend broke up with me, he told me some things, and I started to believe I was those things. And Glenn told me, he said, also, I just want you to know that those things that person told you, you're not those things. He doesn't know who you are. God knows who you are. And that just took so much. It just it made me feel so much better about myself. And, uh, and Glenn didn't know you at all, and he was praying this. I've never met him before. And so um, before I came here, I was used to going to church on Sunday, feeling good, and then going home and then waiting until next Sunday to feel good again because I didn't know what to do during the week. Like, what do I read? Who do I talk to? I had questions about the Bible, and I was just here. I could not get away from this church. There's so much going on here. I downloaded the app. I went through the prayer line. I started going to home groups, and that's where my healing started, is is during home groups with Kelly. Shout out to Kelly. That's my girl. (laughs) And we, We had a conversation last night, and she said, do you remember what you told me when I first met you? She asked me, and she said, what are you afraid of? And I said, I'm just afraid that I can't live without this person and I'm never going to get better. I'm always going to feel this way. And she said, girl, go look at you now. Look at what God is doing now. And it's just so amazing. And (laughs) And, um, I got the book, the get the break free book. Don't just buy the book, read the book. This book It helped me. So I would read this book during the week. And then I didn't know. There's things I don't know. I mean, you go to church and they tell you love God with all your heart. And I'm just like, how? Resist the devil and he will flee. How? I didn't know. So I started to read this book and there were things in my home. I'm at home praising God. I didn't know I had stuff from the devil on my dresser. Like there's stuff I had to get out of my home. There's things I had to do. There's prayers I had to pray. Thank you. Um, now, Jania, you have experienced such a incredible journey. I mean, you even got baptized. Tell us a little bit about how you uh, said that Solomia said, hey, I'll save you a seat. And now what are you doing where you even brought your friends and uh, bringing them to church? So now you're doing the same thing. So tell us a little bit about how you brought your friend and then you got baptized. Um, I brought my friend. She's actually here, Lakeisha. Um <laughs> I just invited her and saved her seat, and now she's here. We got baptized together. We go to home group together, and 
It's just been amazing. And when she met me, she was just like, how do you drive all the way to Benton City for Bible study? And I had to remind her, I said, girl, we used to go out and spend hours getting ready for the club. Go get an outfit, buy a bottle. I said, we can go give God some time. And we'd be out all night. This is just a few hours to get the word that you need in your life. She's giving me chills right now. Come on, you guys. Give God some glory for what he's doing. This is what we are praying for. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. See, the enemy is afraid for you to share your testimony. He's afraid for you to speak up and to have that darkness be removed and to expose it into the light. And I know, and I was telling her beforehand that you were touched by social media. Now just watch that your video, your testimony is going to go out there and people are going to come because of your testimony. So never be ashamed of your testimony where God has pulled you out from the darkness and into the light because he wants you to touch other people so that they can receive salvation. Amen. So, Jania, please tell us your last few words of encouragement. Your whole thing was encouraging, but I just want you just to share just a few words for those that maybe are afraid, they're in a very dark place, those that are watching or maybe are here. What, what would you like to advise them? I would just tell them to come to church and come to this church because there's stuff going on here. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> also, just get involved. Like, I really, I, I don't understand how people do this alone. Like, I've had so many people reach out to me. Even Kelly just would call me for prayer and get involved, go to the home groups, and just do it. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Jania. Thank you.